welcome to Sled Dog Discovery in Mushers Camp. In June, we took an Alaska cruise, and this was one of our excursion options for Juneau, Alaska. It was easy to book and did not disappoint. When we arrived, everyone was split into groups of six to ride in the summer sleds, tour the camp, and take part in a 25-minute presentation. This dog sledding experience is not in the snow and is part of the team's summer training. As we sat back and experienced the power of this team of 14 Alaskan Huskies, they were working on commands, older dogs were teaching the younger dogs, and all of the dogs were building the strength needed to complete the Iditarod. <laughs> After we finished our one mile run, we were able to get to know the team. Our musher competes in the Iditarod. He gave us a lot of information on his experience running the race, told us about his dogs, and also explained why each dog holds a specific position on the team. Harper, El Chapo, we got Tyvek, Loden, Darnell playing in his bowl, <laughs> running with Twinkie, Kickflip, and uh, Willie. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Almost all of them are born here at the camp. You know, Ambler wasn't. When, when they're born, we start socializing them like just a couple days old. Soon it was time to head to the presentation area near Fish Creek. The presentation lasted approximately 25 minutes and was chock full of interesting information. The dogs were used for utility back in the day, so it was how you got to town, it was how you got your supplies from town to town, your mail delivered, stuff like that. But with the advent of the snow machine, um, that started to go away. It was a lot easier to walk outside in the morning, crank up your snow machine, and then go to town instead of harnessing up all your dogs. So we wanted to get people excited about it, and that's when it came up with the I Did Ride. So the first one was held in 1973, and it took them about 22 days to finish. For comparison, it takes the top finishers now around eight to nine days to finish. So that comes with uh, training, um, the dogs are being bred now for this ultra long distance stuff, and, and equipment. Lastly, we are able to play with the sweet puppies. Unlike Siberian Huskies, Alaskan Huskies are not bred for their looks. They are bred for their pulling strength, agility, temperament, and ability to be part of a team. Socializing these puppies is a vital part of their training so they can feel confident when they encounter new people, sounds, smells, and environments on the trail. There were three litters at camp when we arrived. The Easter litter was the oldest and no longer with their mom. The other two litters had not been weaned and the mamas were keeping a close eye on us. Hey, look at these paws. She's going to be a big girl. Come here. Overall, this was a great experience, and we'd do it again.